Hello my lovely boos. I'm so excited to share with you guys today. So I entered a giveaway on Instagram through SXC. Um, I am super stoked guys. I so wanted to try their products. I've never tried them before so I was super excited when I won their giveaway. So I received it today and this is their Pink X Bling series. But it's got glow in the dark, temperature change, and a super sparkling. I am so excited, guys. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. Let me know if you tried this brand or not, or if you would like to try this brand or anything. But anyways, guys, so let's go ahead and get into this kit. So upon opening, this is what you're going to see when you open this kit. You're going to get your instructional manual. And they've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. So make sure to go check that out. When you open this up, it says, Hello, thanks for the love and support. The Slowly set comes with six Slowly Pink Tone Poly Gels. Two are temperature change, two are glow in the dark, and two are super sparkling glitter. Oh, wow, these are going to be really nice. Uh, make sure to go and follow them on Instagram and follow them on their Facebook. And there shows you the colors of the Sparkling X Bling series. Alright guys, so here are dual forms. I love these dual forms. You also get a hand fall. I'm not sure what grit that is, but you also get these forms, nail forms to put on, which I love. You also get these beautiful paint, these clear rhinestones, which is totally awesome that they put that in there for you. So I'm super excited about those. You get this beautiful pink ir glitter that shines this iridescent green. You get these pixie crystals, like, oh my God, already. Like, wow. You get top and base coat, and I love the labels. They look super nice. You get six 30 milligram tubes of poly gel. This one is a thermal poly gel, and it looks like there's something on it, but I will. It's ambrosia. Looks really nice. From according to, I love the little hearts on the label as well. They look super cute. You get Virgo, which is a glow in the dark. You get this one here and this one is sparkly and it's supposed to be a really sparkly poly gel you get a radiance which is also another sparkly poly gel then you get Gemini hair which is also a glow in the dark and then the last one that you're going to be getting is called Drew Silva and on top of that you get a beautiful poly gel tool in this kit as well but let me know guys if you're ready to see this kit and let's get started all right, so the first one is called Sparkly. It's supposed to be this beautiful sparkly poly gel. Sorry that the camera is out of focus, guys, but it's just beautiful pink sparkly. Oh my God. This one is Gemini. Really excited to see this one as well. Now this one is a glow in the dark. So, and I'll show you that after I cure it, what it looks like. But this one is the glow in the dark. Ooh, it's a nice pink as well. This one is called Virgo, and this is another glow in the dark. And, oh wow, that's a beautiful pink, guys. It's a really bright pink. I know my camera's not showing the justice, but it's beautiful. I really want to use that one today. And let's see, the next one is Drusilla. Drusilla is a thermal poly gel. Wow, this one is really pretty, guys. This one is a really bright, vibrant pink, as you can see. Oh, wow. And this one is Ambrosia. This one is a thermal poly gel as well. And this one is so pretty too, guys. Oh my God, I love all these. And this one is a bright red. Loving that. Radiance is a, another one. It's a, no, this one is a sparkly poly gel. And this one has like little 
pink sparklies in it. Oh, it's so pretty, but it's subtle, you know what I mean? It's beautiful. But here are all the colors. I'm gonna go ahead and cure these anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds, just cause I'm swatching these for you. But let's go ahead and cure these really fast and let's see what they look like. They are so beautiful. Oh my God, okay. And this is what they look like after being cured. As you can see, they've changed uh, colors. The two thermals did. These are the two glow in the dark. I am going to turn the light off for you so you can see that. Look how beautiful. Oh my God, this one is like a blue and the other one is a white. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I love it. And look at the thermals. The thermals are so cute too. It changes to a beautiful white and a pink, but those two glow in the dark, I'm excited for it. I will be using those into a set one day. Oh my God. And that sparkly pink is just, oh my God, it's so gorgeous, guys. Like, I cannot wait to show you this kit. I think I'm going to use the sparkly today, and I think I'm going to use Drusilla, the thermal. And then I'll do another mini with the other one so you can see them as well. So, anyways, guys, let's go ahead. I'm going to be using the Drusilla today in Radiance because I'm excited for those two. I'm going to be applying a thin layer of the base gel. It looks really nice. But you want to go ahead and apply this thin and you're going to cure this anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds but anyways guys let me know down below if you've tried this kit or not or if you like this brand and let's go ahead and get into this video Wow, guys, I love this color. It's super pretty. My room is like really hot right now, so the poly gel wants to turn white, but then when I touch it with the alcohol, it turns back pink. How cool is that? I love thermal poly gel. Let me know what you guys think about thermal poly gel. I think it's super cute, easy nail art, but when you're applying poly gel, you want to apply in small beads. Um, I did use a little bit of a bigger bead on this one, only because I'm extending these nails out to a number six. Um, I love long nails. You guys know that. Oh my god. I love this though. It's so cute Let me know if you've tried this kit or not, but this is awesome I think that it's just this is what I like like I love kits that are You have several different options other than just the plain poly gel, you know what I mean? But I think it's really nice. I was going to do the glow in the dark, but then I grabbed this color and realized that it was a um, thermal. Which, have you guys ever done a mani and like totally went blank and not knowing what kind of nail art to do on top of it? This is kind of it for me because I kind of, I had one thing in mind, but then when I grabbed the wrong color, I thought, oh no, you know, okay. 
we'll just work with it anyways but in all I think it turned out really nice um, but I do really I'm actually glad that I did because this is really nice like I love that it turns white in the pink at the bottom but this formula oh my god guys let me just say this formula is super super nice it's super creamy it doesn't like move all over the nail it doesn't move till you make it move and it's just it's just really creamy and i love that it, it reminds me like i said of the mccart poly gel the viscosity the vis viscosity of it sorry if i could talk today um that's what it does remind me of but it's just it's just amazing like i love it it's not like sticking to my brush you do want to keep your brush a little on the not like soaking wet and not dry like you want to keep it in between so um, normally what I do is just like when I dip into the alcohol I don't really like wipe the brush off I just kind of like drain some of the liquid out and then go and it's working really well didn't really notice any bubbles or anything with this kit as yet um, I know the first time that I did I thought well you know because normally I always like because some play gels are really bad to bubble when you're using alcohol but I think that if you keep it limited on the alcohol it's not as bad This one is a full nail of the Radiance. Guys, I wish you guys could see how pretty this is in person. It's got these little tiny pink specks of like glitter sparkle in it. And oh my God, it's so pretty. But I wanted to do a full nail of that on this finger just because it's so pretty. And I'm not sure exactly what I might do on it. I do think I might add some glitter to it later. I do wish that it had a clear in here in this kit. Only because, like, if I wanted to encapsulate with that or things like that. But other than that, like, that's the only thing that I do wish that it did have was a clear in it. But this is gorgeous. I I love this. Now, this color, the Radiance, isn't as, uh, it's creamy and soft. But it seems to be a little stiffer than the uh, Drusilla is. It must be because of pigment, I'm assuming. Um, more than likely that's what it is because where the um, Drusilla has more pigment in it but this one still applies really well and it's really um, uh, soft as well it just takes a little bit more work to it but oh my god if you guys could see that sparkle in there it's just so stunning guys oh I'm in love with it like really in love with it I could wear just a full hand of just this radiance and would be happy and it's that pretty i think it really complements my skin tone as well but yeah look how gorgeous all right guys so i am going to try something a little different here um i kind of wish uh that i would have put like the drusilla on first and then fixed then molded it the way i wanted it then cured before I, before i put the second color in because it just it blended together so well that <laughs> I kind of had to work it the best I could normally I don't do that but for some odd reason I threw it in there with this color like right here when I should have like molded how I wanted the first poly gel and then applied the other one but it still worked out pretty good um, I actually was still really happy with it and um, which you'll see in the nail art as well but um, yeah, it blended together very well. It literally molded together, but it um, turned out very pretty actually. I know it looks kind of weird at first, but once you see it in the end, you'll be like, oh wow, that's, you know. But yeah, should have waited a minute. <laughs> but I got excited, got in a hurry, got ahead of myself, and then, it, <laughs> and then this happened. And I thought, uh oh, like how am I going to keep it from like molding together too much? But. Uh, oh, that's all right. It still looks beautiful. I still love it. So, yeah. Alright guys, so on this last finger here, I'm going to do a ombre on this 
finger. I'm gonna do the Drusilla at the tip and I'm gonna do Radiance at the top. And I absolutely love how it turned out. Hope you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think so far in this set. But I am super stoked. Like, I love this set. I think it turned out super pretty. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. And if you've tried it before and what you think so far. And we'll go ahead and finish this out. All right, my lovelies, this is what they look like so far after being filed and everything. But I am going to stop the video right here because this video is already so long. That way I don't bore you guys to death. But my next video will be me decorating these nails. But I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Guys, and just to let you know, guys, I do have some discount codes for you guys in my description box for you guys. I have some for the Nail Junkie. I've got one for Keds Nail Art, which is a new. Uh, code for you guys a 10% off I've got model ones and I do have Rossi nails um, they are having some issues with uh, their program right now but that will be back but anyways guys don't forget to take advantage of my maniology code as well I love maniology and I love CADS nail art they are so amazing but anyways guys Hope you guys stay tuned for my next video of me decorating these. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below of any manis that you want me to create or anything or any ideas. But anyways, guys, don't forget to like my videos. Just let everybody know that you like my videos and share them as well. And if you guys don't mind, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's all be friends and do nail art together. Those of you that are already subscribed, you guys know that I love and adore each and every one of you guys. I hope everyone is staying safe and staying home. But anyways, guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.